Fare thee well, my own true love. I'm leaving in the first hour of the morn. I'm bound off for the Bay of Mexico, or maybe the coast of California. So fare thee well, my own true love. We'll meet another day, another time. Not the leaving that's grieving me, but my true love who's bound to stay behind. The weather is against me and the wind blows hard and the rain she's turning into hail. But I still might strike it lucky on a highway going west. I'm traveling the path beaten trail. It's not believing that's grieving me, but my true love who's bound. It's been almost 10 years since I left Philadelphia. I had planned on telling the story of my adventure a lot sooner, but as many wiser people have said before me, life is what happens to you when you're busy making other plans. And action. The goal of many young filmmakers is to dig deep into the human experience and shine a light on some groundbreaking revelation that others have yet to realize. Some source of enlightenment that can only be discovered by our cameras and our experiences. Cut. When I graduated film school, this was my goal, naive or not. And I would achieve this goal by riding my 150cc red scooter 3,000 miles across the country. Looking back now, I think subconsciously I recognize this as a moment that would change my entire life. You know, that fork in the road that poets are always talking about? I think this was it. Moments like these happen to all of us. We can trace back one decision and all the effects it had on our current circumstances. And even as I speak these words now, I can honestly say that everything I am came from this trip. Perhaps not some grand epiphany I had along the way, but simply for the choice to make that decision and go. Before we depart on our journey, allow me to take a moment to set the stage. This is me. Every family has a kid like me. A young Spielberg, my family would say. I was always rallying my friends and family together to make a movie. Action. And another movie. And a few more. I must have been a convincing director because they always joined me. Trust me, I have the proof. I was fortunate enough to be able to follow my passions as early as middle school. I took vocational classes throughout high school. I then went to college where I continued to learn about film and telling stories. I've always wanted to see the frontier. It's gone. A common theme that I found myself identifying with was that of a protagonist's journey into the great unknown. In order to tell my story, I wanted to have my own journey into the great unknown. My grandfather, father, and brothers all rode motorcycles. I think that's why I had such a desire to have this scooter with me in the next phase of my life. Plus, it was a pretty cool looking scooter. I decided in order to succeed in the film industry, my journey's destination would have to be Los Angeles, California. But how could some broke college kid take this scooter, which barely went 50 miles an hour, on highways alongside massive tractor trailers and speeding motorists, to find myself 3,000 miles west in California? I enjoy the occasional risk, but that just sounded like a death wish. As I talked about my mission with my family and friends, I recall my uncle stating that one way to stay off the freeways would be to take Route 66, the mother road. Scooter? Route 66? One simple play on words later, and Scoot 66 was born. 
I would take my scooter, drive from Pennsylvania to Chicago, then take Route 66 all the way to Santa Monica. I knew where I was going to end up physically, but once I arrived in California, I didn't know where or how life would take me next. I planned as quickly as possible. Too quickly, to be honest. I bought some paper maps, AAA guides, jotted down some sites to see, made a basic timeline, and said my goodbyes. At the age of 22, this was going to be the longest drive of my life. And at an average pace of 45 miles an hour, I would remember every minute and every mile of it. On August 3rd, 2011, I began the first leg of my adventure west through Pennsylvania. Into the